What the mother f***ing shit? Why? Look, spoiler warning countdown starts now because I need to vomit the 10,000 calories of depression I managed to consume in the span of 23 minutes because f**k man. I'm not a light novel reader, but I knew things. Not this. I knew there was something wrong with this picture and though I might sound angry, this is because of how good this story is that I feel this way. Just an episode ago, there was 23 minutes of Roxy cuteness and father son bonding. Even in this one, the first 5 to 10 minutes. Roxy cuteness! The previous seasons displayed an improvement in Rudy's life from his reconciliation with Paul to his marriage with Sophie. Before Rudy left, he would imagine his whole family surrounding the table sharing a meal together. I should have known! <laughs> Hook! Line! Sinker! I've watched certain anime before. I should know how this works. Except, this was executed so well that it executed my soul. Insult to injury. Because after the Roxy cuteness, they made the tone shift quite obvious. It reminded us that I wanna die. This was a suicide mission. But these last two episodes were based on the idea of Rudy not wanting to hear any famous last words from his dad, as Paul has been displaying nothing but compassion for his family. Though it sounded simple, it sounded hopeful. Kill the Hydra, free Zenith, Go home. And what gets me about this is that Rudy, after being separated from his mother for so long, questioned how close he actually was with her as a way to justify his composure. And with this, not only did Paul leave famous last words, but put those words to action. Hi. The advice to save your mother even if it kills you, Paul had also applied to himself. Save your wife even if it kills you. Save your son, even if it kills you. This is a beat in the story that reminds Rudy of just how much his family means to him, showing how far Paul has come as a person from making up for his past mistakes, even his current ones, to trying to bring back something that he's been desperately missing for so long, which is his family. With all this lead up, it happened so fast that it felt too real. And I think that's why it had the impact it did. Look, I'm no stranger to edgy things, I'm all for it. But when the theme of death is used properly, this is what you get. And it doesn't even end there. Fuck, man. I want to die. The idea of ending an episode with a successful mission, mending old wounds and rebuilding bridges while introducing another problem that is irreversible is exactly what I mean by insult to injury. Because it feels like they lost a lot more than they won. Which doesn't make this story any more bittersweet than it already is. When people say storytelling is powerful, this is what they mean. I've never felt this sick to my stomach while watching anime before. Until now. And for the right reasons. But far out man. Now I've got to ride this wave of post-anime depression until next week. They even named the episode Parents. And in some countries, it's Father's Day. <laughs> what the f***? Until next time, please don't talk to me. <laughs>